Alright guys, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to remove uh, this uh, Toyota Yaris, it's a 2018. So uh, first things first, uh, you need a flat, uh, F well, you need a flat and then a flat Phillips and a regular uh, Phillips uh, screw driver. So you come down to your tool, you need a regular Phillips and then a flat uh, Phillips. Uh, so first things first. Uh, you use uh, your, your Phillips, you come to the door panel, you come to the side, it's just thing to, uh, to the side here, so you just look from the side, you just pry this like this, and when this comes out of the way, you can just take it out like this completely, it comes out like that. Once it is out of the way, you just come uh, to, the, uh, to the door opening latch right here, so what you do, uh, you open like this with one hand and then with the other hand you just press inside here. You press like that guys, this uh, side pops out and once this pops out you just pull it like this. You just pull out, you just take it out like this. So it will just pop out from there. You just release like that. You put that on a safe place. So inside there guys is a Phillips. So you just use uh, your Phillips to get this out. to get your Phillips out <sighs> so what you do so another thing you do guys is when uh, you have to remove uh, this uh, this is the window switch so what you do you just come down here is a you just hold this thing right here you just pry some space here you can use a, uh, a flat Phillips you can use a flat Phillips to just get it out of the way like that once you get that hole like that you just pull it like this this thing uh, comes out like this is how you remove your uh, window switch for the Yaris once you get it out of the way like this guys uh, this is what's in the back you can just disconnect just press here just like that it comes out and then this right here guys you just pull like that and just like that guys uh, your window uh window switch uh, this is out guys uh put that one on the side so one last thing we have one ball right here which we have to remove before the door panel comes out so you come right here is the phillips Just like that when this thing comes out and this uh, Phillips comes out guys so this door panel can come out so uh, use your, your flat you just run it across like right here just run it across down here and then you pry it up so guys if you have a plastic pryer I really encourage you to use that don't use uh, this this will just mess up your paint so but I don't have the plastic pryer right now so I might just end up uh, using this one uh, right here so I just put it like that on the corner and then you just use a little bit of force just like that then once it gives you space you can just leave this you can just use your hand like that and then just alright so right here guys you just use force you just, you just push straight up like that it just pops out from here just keep doing that just pop out and come in here too so once this comes in so you open these two stuff the first one is just uh, pull out from there this thing should just come out without a problem second one is you just uh, just pull it out the same way you just pull it out like that just uh, snap like this comes out like this so just like that guys uh, the panel just comes out and you just have your panel outside here so guys uh, to replace your window uh, 
regulator uh, window regulator um, which is this right here is actual so what you do you just open this uh, th uh, this three it's a 10 millimeter and then uh, you, you just take it out from here this one right here take that right there and then you just squeeze that out of there Open it up later, so you just take out this 10 millimeter to get out this motor. So you come with a 10 millimeter, it's really interesting, guys. That uh, all these parts are made by a Mazda. It's so crazy. I don't know. Maybe Toyota and Mazda have a thing going on for them. So I don't know about that. Just put this on the side. Yes, just like that uh, this motor is out so what you do you disconnect it from right here and then you just pull it out so guys uh, this comes out like this so you can uh, get a new one or used one to replace it for you and you can uh, just put uh, right there so that's how easy it is guys to replace uh, your window regulator motor which is just right here I think the part number is uh, should be somewhere here. I don't know if that's the part number. Which is SDO37704. I don't know what it is. But it's alright. That's how it is. I really hope this video really helps you out, guys. And see you uh, in the next uh, video. So to put it back, you just put the same way you just took it out. And guys, you should be good to go. Alright.